Greetings everyone, and Great here from another Company Rose, not Company Rose, Age of Empires 4 replay. Go on top right side as the yellow Ayubids, we have Lucifero, capital N7. Go on bottom left side as the green Chinese, we have Valdemar. When it comes to map generation, I just realized there's hardly any wood on the side of the, sides of the map for the green player. He has three wood deposits pretty close by each other in the center of the map, which can create a pretty good natural barrier. His deer are both in the same direction. Very nice. He also killed one of the deer. Yellow did. And his boar spawned way over here for the Chinese player. Swung for some stone, a bit of gold. Good expansion location, but there's no natural cover. For yellow, he does have, of course, the berries there. Berries next to some deer out front, so they're a bit more exposed. He has quite a bit more stone over here. And... His large gold and small gold is over here. Pumba is here, but of course he cannot claim it up, being Islamic. No pork allowed. Deer, next bit of gold. I want to say whose map generation is better. Green has no natural protection on the flanks. While yellows is just very spread out and not really congested, except for right here. I never really like this map. Actually, most maps I don't really like. Sounds about right. Sheep has been delivered. Does not pop the sheep too far away. It Umber camp there. We do not have to age up. Remember as well, Ayubids are a little bit bugged where they don't have the age up shown up here. He's going for the military reinforcements. Get a free Desert Raider every two minutes. And his cavalry can now build... Siege weapons. Was a green killed off these deer? Spreading out quite nicely. I see three. Can't really see the others. Is that one? Nope, that's just a branch. Ah, uh, there's one right there. And there's one right there. So yeah, very spread out to say the least. Imperial Academy now being built. Desert Raider will be tasked to go right there. First Desert Raider course is to pull it on the field. We'll probably see the Song Dynasty being pulled out pretty quickly with the Chinese players, so get is faster village production. Vatican and the Sun being deployed out right there. You know, this one's age up. It's been pretty common right now for IB players to go for military reinforcements first. So it may need to build it a little bit more aggressively. He's going to have seven, which is pretty aggressive. Does get some shots there. On age tier one, now active. Getting plus 10 collection rate for all resources. Very powerful. Age up's not complete. But I think he really needs this age up first. More village can hit. And it does back off the Desert Raider now. Has some shots there. Scout moving around. Not collecting the berries anymore. Huh. Ayubids do collect the berries faster. Plus 30% faster collection rate, but plus uh, increased capacity, unless... Ah, uh, he left one at one. Maybe he's going to try to get and another one very low as well. He may be eyeing to go for economic growth and trying to get a little bit more capacity onto them. The collection rate is slower and cheap than those berries. In fact, right now, berries are basically has almost the same collection rate as deer. Another additional free Desert Raider. It looks like the Chinese player is not eyeing for additional town center. Does have an outpost here. Come on, 
Looks like we'll be trying to stab that scout there. He does have now four Desiraters on the field. Trying some more shots there. Doing some pretty good micro, but taking some more damage there. His range is 4.5 without a hand cannon or slip. So he's... <coughs> the outpost range is 6. Oh, sorry about that. <coughs> You almost have enough uh, resources to age on up. He's definitely eyeing for a faster castle. And Chinese players also eyeing for a fast castle as well. So probably going to be eyeing for the clock tower. Astronomical clock tower. Because Gunnar will rush out the Imperial Palace. The clock tower just generally is much, much better than a light giant lighthouse. And he is going for economic growth, which gave him eight villagers, as well as improve the capacity of the berries. This will help offset the Song dynasty of the Chinese player. He will actually pull ahead of villagers for a time. And with an additional 25% faster booting villagers. It'll be somewhat hard to calculate with all this. These villagers 20 seconds. Five, potentially five increased villagers for the Chinese player. One, that'll be at 34, so he'll be up to plus one, plus eight. It will probably keep him uh, relatively equal and slap slightly ahead for about like three minutes, which is. We'll delay out the advantage of the extra uh, Song Dynasty for quite some time. And he is going for Imperial Palace, so what do I know? Astronomical Clock Tower just offer great benefits and for our for our free siege workshop and having them much more healthy. But he may be eyeing just to get extra vision with the Imperial Palace for now. He may be eyeing for something very defensive if he wants extra vision. some damage there. And these villagers can hit as well as so quite a bit of wood. And can your slip now being researched as well on one of those on right here. It's helping to keep this area nice and secure. We will bear some research both sides. Got improved wood collection technology. Right now, the Ayubid economy is also better, not only with the extra villagers, but also will keep... He has the plus 10% collection rate, so the Ayubid economy is just doing quite good. Now i got a massive round of camel lanes is now being deployed on out. He's going to be eyeing for some aggression now. He does have three stables, so it'll be a 3x2 deployment of camel lancers. He's in Dancer, has Hank in your slip firing away as well, which also proves the range of these garrison arrows. Takes out one there. Looks like he's supervising the monastery there. He's trying to pump out those monks to get out to grab some relics. Camelance is not pushed away for. He needs some spearmen. May need to supervise the barracks to get out more. Supervise their training. A couple villagers will go down there, extending the Ayubid lead. And good number of villagers now. Three of them did go down there. These ones are taking some severe hits. And Kanyos, so let's do punch the armor a little bit better. We'll be falling back. Keep his distance. We've got now the hardened spearmen research. And as well as some crossbows in the way. More camel lancers being pulled on the field. One dirt on the field as well. Villagers there help choke up the map as well as provide some more garrison space. Store villager storage space. Lancers straight forward. We'll find the Braddocken of the Sun. No spring guard placement. He can afford it. Actually, no, he can't. The Ivy player has 350 stone. He may be for a secondary town center himself. 
Camel's back out off Spearman there. There's a Camel Lancer fighting with the villagers. Camel Lancer goes down. This one's falling back as well. Four villagers have gone down. The Chinese players at 46 versus 48. And I'll put the Chinese player a couple minutes behind in villager production. And plus the IA bids plus 10% income is very useful. Just assume plus 5 here. So the Chinese players working at a deficit. At least on gold income though. With his uh, economic research. Imperial official. I suppose he does have Imperial officials as a counterbalance to the Golden Age Tier 1. Does take some damage there. Berries not or deer not being collected up with the granary nearby. Go for an outpost here as well. Very useful. The vial technique is not being deployed on out. Crossbows need some good hits there on those camel lancers. Now Imperial official does go down. Camel lancers making their advance. No blacksmith research for either side. Good damage there. Central Six I think catched up by Yellow. Yellow's cleaned up three relics. Green has claimed one and picked up another. Arden Spearman reached now on the way of the Chinese player. More Spearman running around. Let's get a decent spear brace there. Lancers moving around. Spearmen and crossbows there. Does go some walls. I mean, I have these fillers now. They begin inside the various defensive emplacements. He's good hits there. Lancers moving around. Do have villagers trying to get some of these deer down here. And the Lancers will make short work of it. As we move beforehand, there's no natural cover in this region. But his one does not have scouts in this area, so it's hard for him to see anything. Got double layer of walls there. Double spearmen there as well. Need some good hits. Dervish moving around, trying to capture some more secret sites. Well, crossbows there, I'm not sure why they're there. They're not exactly a harassment unit. Uh, crossbows hitting villagers? Okay. <clears throat> Somehow. You got some units here. Take out some of the uh, yellow villagers. Not paying close enough attention. Green's not focus firing as well. He's actually losing a good number of villagers there. He's just lost, what, five villagers there? Iron Ram not going up for the Abbasid player. And still no response. He is losing a good number of villagers. All six sides captured by yellow. Camel Lancer does go down. You can offer research for both sides. Both their level 2 food. Uh, there's the villagers. He lost far too many villagers. That just wiped out his villager lead by a good margin. And that was just two crossbows and a spearman. Wolf gains some bites here. Uh, 
Green's trying to save the cast on these zero sides. Baron's connecting right there. Spearman trying to charge on this dervish. We got Nessa Beast here. Just a regular old Nessa Beast. It does not have the clock tower. Astronomical clock tower. Now, the number of archers not being put up by the uh, Ayubid player. He gets on these forces. Arctic in the sun taking some damage. Goes just look inside the outpost. Not fortified, nor is it upgraded. Spearman gives me archers, gives me the desert raiders. Nessa Bees find a good volley down those archers. Camel has to move around to provide some more builds. He does find some. He does find some more there. Spearman needs to push down south. Nessa Bees gets a good volley there. Bannerham will be putting Don up. Do you also have some palace guard to pull out the field? Camelance is falling on back now. We do have cross palisade walls here. This villager may go down. She is carrying 30 deer meat. Camelancer is still trying to fall on back. Got a bit of walls here. These walls are, of course, opened up. Elon here. Spring gold being flown on the field. You also got the Maganel as well. So it's the I bet unique variant, which is have the additional Sindri Barrage ability. I always don't know how to pronounce it. Sick of fight. Sick of side victory still counting up. The IB player actually has quite a bit of gold and has zero villagers on gold. That's the power of having all sacred sites and three relics. That is a mass amount of gold income, though maybe someone is just moving to a different location. It's starting to shrink down a little bit. Has golden age tier three as well. Those villagers produce a little bit faster. So the villager queue numbers will be quite given, though the, player, the Chinese player does have secondary town center along with yellow. Archers get some damage there. Does have Sultan's man loots. Spring all does take a hit there. Maganel fires a volley there, gets good damage. Gets some damage there. Spearman trying to pursue these camel lancers. Good volleys there. Bring us two spring goals remaining. It gets a good hit there. One Maganel remains. And some of these spring goals are being distracted. Uh, yeah, they're getting distracted, not hitting the target. Maganel does go down. This force is quite wounded, gets more damage there. He actually is not taking out, taking more damage there. Those do save it. Yellow's force is being cleaned up up now. Being tracked a little bit there, and the rest of the yellow forces are falling back. There's another regroup, another wave. I place plenty of wood and gold. You can go for more siege weapons if you so choose. Additionally, you may want to have a bit of food to age up again. There are some trade posts on the map. Ultra advancement would be pretty cheap. And I don't think the uh, trading room bizarre. I don't know how profitable those traits are, but I don't think the anything you get from that's going to be really worth it in this age, or next age. It's probably almost free. Let's take a shot there. Spring Gold's firing away, getting some damage. We've got two Nessa Bees, three Spring Golds on both sides. Nessa Bee gets a bit of chip damage there. Yellow does lose a Spring Gold. Another Spring Gold goes down there. Yellow does take one shot, does 
Okay, lose another one. One spring bottle remains, so really win. SP is getting some good damage there. SP is a bit more generous than Mega Nose. So they don't care what they hit, as long as they hit good groups of units. Now we've got the power being repaired on up. Multiple spring gold is now being poured on out by the Gilons and Archers. This player has two spring golds, two nests of bees, none clock tower variant. He's starting to go for more palace guards. Palace guards will be hit pretty hard from the Gilon since they have higher attack speed, while palace guards do have lower armor. Yellow's moving around, eyeing or just a bit of a general move. And I think he just oh god, golden age tier four and the sickest I think at the same time. I was thinking, did he just get two sickest sides at the same time? But nope, got two different things at the same time. Golden age tier four makes the siege weapons even cheaper now. Here, more palace guard being pulled on the field. Spring Gold's moving around trying to find his opponent's siege units. I don't think he has critical to keep alive. Losing the village would actually put him pop cap, so he can't really lose the village. But they're pretty cheap to replace. And now there's age four for the Ayubid player. So it's for culturing advancement, right? Probably. I don't see additional dervishes, so he's definitely going for culturing advancement. Don't see going for additional dervishes, healing speed, and age four is useful. You get the dervishes using age three to get the relics quickly. So I got a gate house going up here, the Great Gate House. He has a number of villagers on both sides this time. He is going to be mass building it. Those the villagers have been given a stop order. SP is firing away. He's going to take time to build on through, but we'll see some break on through in time. The Great Gate House making some severe damage. He's broken on through. Got only four villagers on the side. If this gets built and these guys still in range, we're going to see a massive volley from two nests of bees. It's built and there's the nest of bees volley. Getting some massive damage on those four. Spring gold. Both sides have a good number of spring golds in the field. Crossbows push way forward. They hit those gilons quite nicely. Alice scars push way forward. Got a bunch of archers in the back line. Not a whole lot of crossbows, only some. He does have elite gilons and elite archers now in the field. Couple key lumps there, so let me put it down by the keep. I have four not being researched. Reinforcing those tiny wall segments with more stone walls. Trap some of his villagers there, so gets a tiny gatehouse there. Up north is that palace guard. Up is a wolf. So these villagers gain bitten quite significantly, especially this lady. We have a yellow keep over here. Yellow's going to try to set up the fortifications around Spawn's base. He's denying this golden cone and started cleaning up this gold deposit. This gold deposit over here and here is still open. The Chinese player could expand out to it. We got an outpost there. The Chinese player is being bit too pass on his base and needs a break on out. Village does go down, does not put in pop cap. Yeah, 
Elite Palace Garden now be being researched, as well as Battle Harden. Nessa B is firing, getting some damage on those on those uh, Gilons. Back, spring goals free forward. Desert Raider there. No, spring all does go down. Green does not have siege engineers, so can't complete build on banner ramps to take out this keep. Nespies gets a great volley there and didn't dodge it whatsoever. Siege engineers have been researched. Spring goals trip forward. Takes up both of them one volley there. Very nice. Bone Age tier 5 now active, so now he has cheaper camels, if I remember correctly. Oh no, can we just attack faster? Throwing torch down some of these other structures. Chinese players going for Bombard and more Palace Guard. You may want to start getting to Yuan Dynasty. He doesn't really need the Song Dynasty's extra village production. Yuan Dynasty will, of course, give his Palace Guards extra speed to really make them charge forward in close distances. Very useful. Palace Guards now charging way forward. Those collecting up that gold. Got these archers and Gilons free forward. We'll find a good number of crossbows. He has only red crossbows. No elite crossbows. He maybe not eyeing to go for elite crossbows. Maybe eyeing for eventually hand can near compositions and power techniques is a very good upgrade for the Chinese. Let's take out some villagers there. Some villagers will escape on out. Archers will go on down. Crossbows for sure. Gilon's getting some hits on these villagers. Great gatehouse fires, tracks those units quite nicely. Spring gold fighting fire support. Scout here as well. These units will be cleaned on up. More palace guard on the build queue. He is having trouble with uh, re reproduction. He has a good queue going. Simply not getting put on out the field fast enough. But then SP is firing away, getting some decent damage. Palace guard falling him back, getting some damage. Bombard firing away, get some damage from that keep. Gets another good volley there. Another keep going on up. The keep is taking some holes. Sacrifice victory three minutes as well. It's not looking good for green. Local doggo still getting some bites. This gold deposit has mostly been cleaned on up. Also, taking time to get some stone walls over here as well. Green's gold selection is very, very small right now. We're probably going to stone here. Yellow season the gold on the map and spending it as well. Actually, the clock tower being built, so I will get the unit in the seat to get an extra movement speed. Bombard does fire shot. The elite army attack is also being researched as well. These palace are going to get much, much better very soon. Extra speed and health and damage. Let's get that unit. Charge way forward, got a number of crossbows here. Guard pushing way forward. Yundis is not complete, so now they're moving much quicker. Home same speed as horsemen. When they get their charge, definitely move fast horsemen. Or should I say knights, but either way, 
at this point, when they charge, they are actually faster than horsemen. Takes like victory, two minutes. Elon's on the front line. They're, of course, good fighters. Crossbows here, finding good defense. Gotta keep here. He may be ready to get dog out on that point. More barracks have been put up by the Chinese players trying to get out more palace guard. He's running very low in resources. The Ayub player has plenty of wood and gold, actually lacking a bit of food. Going for a good number of crossbows. Filter is being brought on forward, trying to hold back these palace guard. Which is actually probably fine for yellow. He has resource reserve. This gold deposit almost cleaned up, up, so might as well just evacuate the villagers now. It's not much there for green to claim. Those repairing up a culver. None of the six sides being decaptured. He has a good amount of gold and come from them as well. And green just taking time to pack apart villagers. Not decapturing the sacred site. He needs to get out something there. Sent some palace car onto the point. Elon's rotating around trying to intercept. Sega Sight starting to be de decaptured now. Elon's going on top of the point to stop the capture. Well, uh, oh, he's got off of it. Now the timer is paused, but the point is still captured. More Elon's there. Elon's looks like they will win out here. Elon's have pretty much twice attack speed as Man at Arms and Palace Guard, offering a little bit less damage. And a lot more health. 270 health versus right now 252. Overall DPS on the, on the Gilons is going to be much higher than Palace Guard. And that six height looks like will be held. 35 seconds remain. More Palace Guard turn before. We'll find a bunch of crossbows. SFBs to get a good volley there. Sega Sight's been captured. Good number of walls there. And yep, that's gonna be game. Alscar's still streaming the way forward. And that is the end of the replay. This is Anne Great saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.